Hello, I'm John Cherefka for the Stan Winston School of Character Arts. Today we're going to show you how to make eyes. Uh, we're going to go through a lot of the process here, uh, actually all of the process. Uh, we'll be covering everything from uh, making the molds, to casting the cores, to painting, to putting the veins on, to doing the clear coat, uh, and a lot of steps in between. Uh, we'll cover uh, chemicals such as the dental acrylics, minute stains, uh, some of the paints, and uh, painting techniques. Uh, so I'm going to be using a drill also for this uh, painting process. This is where you see this drill here sitting in the vise. Almost each eye, I kind of let the eye dictate the technique of the paint job. Eyes could be a little different from the, the last group you painted just because of the way the colors are set up or you may see something that's out of the ordinary that you need to focus on and that may call for some extra steps or extra process or metallics in there or whatever you, you may need. You have to be pretty quick and the brush has to be pretty wet to start. I'm kind of making little uh, comma shapes and little X's in there. Little half moon crescents, little X's, little, uh, I'm just try not to uh, make them all the same. So I, I may do one down here, a little smaller one over here, a little, little more organic. This material, because I've added that MEKP, will shrink a little bit. So that bead that is there right now will eventually go flat. So you kind of just have to put the right amount on there and no more. Otherwise your eye is going to leak out onto the surface of it. And I don't kind of dwell in one spot. I, I keep it nice and smooth and organic, The uh, like the flow of the eyeball through there. Otherwise you can get some uh, like fiber streaks that are actually cut into the eye from this. I'm John Cherefka for the Stan Winston School of Character Arts, and thanks for watching.